Hello everyone, it's your boy Minato here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my concept for an LR Full Power Frieza. Now, um, obviously, <laughs> we're getting a Full Power Frieza in Super Saiyan Goku for this uh, 350 million download celebration. I'm sure it's pretty clear at this point. Um, in terms of his design, I, you know, again, just like the Namek Goku, I had a reference in a sense to this Frieza right here. Um, what I did, however, is I really took mostly from here, obviously, because his links and categories, I believe, are all going to be the same. This passive right here, um, I took a little bit, uh, like a small bit of inspiration from it, but really, I, I don't necessarily like this LR Full Power Freeze's design, so I didn't really incorporate too much of its car essence onto this LR Full Power Freeze unit. Um... But, you know, let's go ahead and move on to the actual design itself. So, this is LR Frieza Full Power. Uh, I think he's going to start off as Full Power Frieza. And I made him Extreme AGL. Now, if we look at, for example, Wicked Bloodline here. Um, I think there's two typings that Wicked Bloodline could definitely really use. Uh, in terms of this team specifically. Or like the Wicked Bloodline cast members. Either AGL or Int. Tech as well. Um... Actually, no, I think more so AGL and uh, Tech, I feel like, are the two best options for him. Um, these are all, in my opinion, the two weakest Extreme Class typings as well. So we definitely, like a new, like, top three best student in the game type level, Extreme AGL or an Extreme Tech unit would help the team out so much. And again, I personally picked Extreme AGL. I feel like Extreme AGL could definitely use it, but I, I feel like Extreme Tech as a Frieza... It's probably more needed. I just feel like with the teams he's on, there's a decent amount of extreme tech options. Um, you know, we're looking at the Frieza Disambiguation here. We do have this Transforming Frieza still. Uh, and I feel like, you know, he can get an easy A, possibly even the Celebration itself, and that'd be really good. Um, physical, I feel like, is pretty stacked. STR, obviously, is pretty stacked. And I feel like it has... It is not like stacked but int is actually i would say better and better standing than tech or agl specifically um so yeah that's basically my design of making him agl uh my reasoning for making him agl at the very least uh his stats are 19,000 hp 22,000 attack and 14,000 defense so i didn't actually bring up let's bring up uh dbz space right here and let's sort by attack right here and let's display attack this is rainbow stats so his actual rainbow stats right here are 22,510 attack that places him right here so he has the sixth highest attack stat in the game um you know obviously these are very these are lrs that are a little older except for these two obviously but i, th I think you know Giving him a nice big attack that so would be good because it's, I mean, it's full power freeze. I feel like when I think of, you know, even this full power freeze has it. When I think of full power freeze, I think of like big, massive damage, uh, defense numbers, which is kind of what I gave him in his passive. But let's first talk about his leader scroll. His leader scroll made Z bosses or final trump card categories key three and HP attack and defense plus 170%. Now, Z bosses, I just made in, uh, in like a kind of contrast to the Z fighters category I had for Goku. I definitely think a Z bosses category is something that could be interesting. So, obviously, it would be things such as, um, it would include, I'm trying to think of the word, it would include uh, anything from Z, so such as, um, I don't know why my mind just went blank. Obviously, Saiyan Saga, so Vegeta Nappa. It would include, uh, obviously, all Frieza's from the Namek Saga. It would include, I believe, as well, you know, all the forms of Cell. I think it could also include, you know, all forms of Boo, obviously. And I think, you know, I, I think it would be nice if they extended on this Z-Boss's category specifically and made it more so, like, you know, includes, like, the LR Androids, for example, like, 17, 18, and 16. Maybe include, like, Zarbine and Adora in there. Uh, at least that's what I would hope for the category. But if you're thinking about Z-Boss's, it could be there. They could possibly even throw in, like, the movie bosses if they wanted to from z specifically i don't think they will because most of the movie bosses category is from um you know z anyway so like it would kind of be weird like if you we, if you bring up like transforming frieza for example we go to the movie bosses category i mean most of these guys are from z so i would maybe invalidate this category in a sense 
Um, but I don't know. I mean, I think this Frieza deserves to have a very powerful leader skill. So at the very least, I also gave him Final Trump card. Now, Final Trump card is still a very strong team, I'd say. It has fallen off a little, and the reason why it has fallen off a little, I feel like, is mostly due to the leaders aging. Now, I'm not saying these guys are bad at all. I think they're still pretty good units, you know, especially once you get them to transform. However, they're about to be two years old. And again, you know, just age at this point. It's not like these units are bad i think a lot of people think they're worse than they actually are but i think this category definitely could use a new leader and i feel like an extreme class leader right here would be pretty good um like an extreme class variant of this team is pretty solid all in all honesty you know you have boo tanks you have uh final form cooler right here you have uh again this cooler right here you have turles you know lr turles and stuff like that i uh, you know baby uh, lr mod video is technically there as well and he will share over in a flash with this Frieza because I'm sure they're going to give this Frieza over in a flash. Um, his super attack effects. So I gave him raised defense one turn. Uh, then he causes colossal damage to all enemies on his 12 key super attack. I feel like I'm. We've been getting a. We've been getting some AOEs this year. I'd say like the AJO Go Tanks, for example, is an AOE I can think of at the top of my mind. LR Astro Broly's Easy A is another one I can think of at the top of my mind. Um. Uh, I think that's having another AOE would be cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of like the Frieza when he gets, you know, when he makes that giant death ball and then he throws it at Goku. Like, think of the, uh, it's literally like the phys the uh, yellow full power Frieza in Legends. If you play that, uh, his blue card uh, is actually an AOE attack and he does that giant death ball. I think that this would be kind of what I'm thinking. I guess you can give him like raise attack and defense one turn here, but I gave him raise defense just for in terms of designing the card. We'll see more in his passive. Um, his ultra super attack effect uh, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy, and I just give him a great chance to crit. Uh, so, like, if he if he gets like a double super, he won't guaranteed crits. Uh, I just give him the great chance. You'll see why. Uh, I think the most the reason why I didn't give him like double crit here is because I think an AOE uh, guaranteed crit <laughs> on an additional super attack would be too good like just 100 percent guaranteed um i think that would be too powerful in my opinion but um the great chance crit is still like you know you're, you're gonna crit pretty often if you get an additional super attack uh his passive skill i'll give him defense plus 200 percent at the start of turn and attack plus 200 percent when performing a super attack um if you, uh i talked about this in my Namek goku which by the way if you haven't uh seen my Namek goku concept feel free to check that out um, I think that, uh, again, I just gave, this is his, what I would say is the baseline right here. Um, 200% attacking defense, basically. And this, this is going to be stupid good, <laughs> which is why I didn't really give him any raising attack on his, you know, super attack effects. Or, you know, honestly, I didn't even give him any other attack in his passive or his active skill. But, um, this, this alone is going to be more than enough to make up for all the damage he does, especially since he has this. This ultra super attack is legitimately going to be one shotting enemies or it's going to do like two, three bars of health bars and like the God of destruction or something. It's going to be crazy how hard this guy hits, uh, especially with this link set. Obviously, we know full power freezes uh, have pretty good link sets in terms of offense. When perform when he's facing one enemy, uh, I made him change random type of key spheres to rainbow on reduced damage received by 30%. The biggest reason why I gave him the rainbow key sphere changing is because since he's the leader of the final trump card, you know, a lot of the units you're going to want to run here are actual super class allies. So, you know, if you're going to run him as a leader 170%, you're going to have two of these guys floating. I think creating rainbow key spheres would help the synergy of the team. And, you know, even if you don't run, there's a lot of over and a flash units on here. So I feel like full power freeze is a good option for this team like you know go tanks vegito uh technically blue cow gun goku these all the gogetas really have over in a flash you know um super saiyan 3 goku right here uh i said vegito's my my gogetas uh vegito this one super videos don't have over, over in a flash which is the only thing but you know a lot of these characters do have over in a flash but to help with the synergy i feel like uh, giving him a uh, rainbow key sphere changing to work with super class enemies would help and just on top of that, I gave him 30% damage reduction. Um, so obviously with this, and then if he gets this, and then with the 30%, he's going to be tanking extremely well. 
and he's when, he, when he's facing a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan category enemy, I gave him an additional key plus six and he performs an additional super attack. So I had kind of like LR Astral Broly in mind when I designed this. So if we bring up LR Astral Broly right here, um, he gets key versus a pure and hybrid Saiyan's enemy and he just guarantees launches an additional super attack. Obviously that's very good. <laughs> and again, he does AoE right here. So, so let's say if you're facing a pure hybrid Saiyan, uh, he's going to be raising his defense by 60% on super attack, doing a double AoE with 200% defense, 200% attack on with super attack and he reduces damage received by 30%. So I think he's going to be pretty good <laughs> offensively and defensively, especially when he's facing a pure hybrid Zane enemy, which is, you know, obviously Frieza hates Saiyans, so, you know, um, that's obvious at this point. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> and then I just gave him this extra revive mechanic uh, when HP is 60% or less at the start of character's attacking turn after the character receives six attacks or more in times of battle or when he's facing a Super Saiyans category enemy. He revived with 60% HP recovered when a character or ally attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. So, um, it's basically you have to have the 60% HP, and then you have to have one of these active. So, it's not just when you're facing a Super Saiyan's category enemy, um, and then if you get KO'd, you know, you're kind of good. No, it's, uh... It's the 6% HP and then one of these two. I don't want, I want to point that out because, you know, the or, the or and the and, you know, it's, um, it can get pretty confusing sometimes. So just want to make sure that's clear in terms of the design and how good this guy is. Uh, the biggest reason I gave him a revive mechanic is because, you know, I'm kind of thinking of like the death slicer, you know, when he gets cut in half and he's like, still like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Although the fight was kind of over by then. He was kind of like, ah, oh, shit, you know, but, um. I, I I I think it's relatively good to get another revive character on other on extreme class team specifically, because if you think of the three of the three revive characters we have, Ajo, Yoba, Goku, Blue Evolution, Vegeta, and Roshi, they're all on super class teams. And then if you think of Nami Goku having a revive, he's also on a super class team. I think giving these extreme class teams a revive character is very important to have. Um, and it just allows the extreme class characters to have more options and more um. I would say kind of unique stuff to their kits. Uh, although extreme class units are definitely designed a little more unique than super class units. I think giving them this option would be great for like, you know, things like, uh, well, if we take a look at his teams, like Terrifying Conquerors, um, Planetary Destruction, Space Traveling Warriors, and Human Deeds, Wicked Bloodline, like extreme base teams. Transformation Boost, I would say, is almost an extreme base team because um, of the leader, Cooler. His active skull condition uh, can be activated when HP is 66% or less or when he's facing a Super Saiyan's category enemy. His active skill, you will die by my hand. He greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and temporarily performs a guaranteed crit. I suggest changes to just temporarily performs a crit because it wouldn't say a guaranteed crit technically. So he just temporarily performs a critical hit. There, that's better. Um, for his link skills, obviously, just gave him the, f the same links as LR Full Power Frieza. So, uh, if I bring him up here, you know, Prodigy, Universe, Most Malevolent, strong Strongest Clan in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Over in a Flash, First Battle, Legendary Power. Again, I feel like this guy's issue, an issue with this guy really is key. Um, especially when he's not on low HP, which is why I want to make sure, I'm pretty sure he's going to keep, you know, this. And I think this is a key link. Yeah, these two are basically going to be his main key links. So I want to give him. I want to make. I want to make these like Dokkan Fessalars just flourish with key. Make it super easy for them to get their 18 key plus super attacks. You know, um, I'd say that the one thing with this guy is that since he's maybe you can make the argument that I designed him where he gets maybe too much key because then um, you want to you know in like super battle road or even world tournament you kind of want to aim for this although i guess in world tournament won't be bad but like in super battle road you might want to aim for the double aoe so if you're facing like a pure saint hybrid saint enemy he creates rainbow key spheres and stuff like that uh or actually it took something out of his uh kits actually let me bring this up here i took this thing out of his kit i can't believe i forgot <laughs> to add it back on here i was like kind of editing it right here let me bring this up one second gamers um trying to get this it's weird so we'll go ahead and smack dab right here oh it just doesn't let me show it okay sure you know what fine whatever we'll just we'll just we'll just leave it as is so basically i gave um 
there's an extra effect I gave him, um, where he gives all allies defense plus six percent when he's obtaining a rainbow key sphere. I think you know that extra little thing is nice. It's not something he needs. I just feel like I I, I want to include at least something unique in his kit, <laughs> though he doesn't really need it. I think he's pretty good as it is right here. Um, but giving a little support effect like that, I think is pretty cool. Um, and it's a way to like kind of quote unquote power group units nowadays. Is to give units like some kind of support ability on top of what all everything they're doing, like a cherry on top in a sense. But yeah, um, he's on a decent amount of category teams right here. I'm not gonna read them all I'm out. I think that's pretty much all I have to sell, cover, and say about it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is this a full power freezer concept? You know, you would like to see in game. What do you guys think LR full power freezer should be? Um, thank you all for watching till the end, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.